want to seamlessly open web links from your SwiftUI app, I'll show you how to make it happen. No fuss or no hassle. All you have to do is to create a new SwiftUI file. But before we do that, this is the app that we'll be creating. The app enables like, any amount of links to be displayed on the view. And if we click on the link, for example, the website link, we navigate to the website irisinsights.co.uk. Click on the other link, which is for YouTube. Navigate to the YouTube channel. And then the final link is the Patreon. I'll do that again. And it navigates to the Patreon.com. Within your Swift UI project, create a new file. Select Swift UI view as a file type. Name the file form row link view. The next thing we need to do is add three variables, var, icon, string. The purpose of that variable is to hold the name of the system icon from SF, from SF symbols to be displayed within the row. Bar color which is color bar text and the purpose of the text variable is to display the actual name of the link. Or the icon. And the next variable we need is the actual link. And this variable stores the actual URL for the link that the user will be redirected to when they tap on the button. We can delete our preview. And then on line 21, we can delete the text element. We need a stack, a Z stack. A rounded rectangle corner radius style of eight style continuous so the purpose of line 25 it creates a rounded rectangle with a continuous corner radius Fill color and that fills the color. I mean, that fills the rectangle with the specified color. Image system name icon.
and that will display the system image icon inside the Z stack. Image scale dot large. Foreground color for the image, which is white. Next thing we need to do is to set the frame, height and width of the Z stack. Alignment, center. Text, text, foreground color, dot gray. And the purpose of line 34 is to display the text next to the icon and set its color to gray. Spacer. So the purpose of that spacer is to push the button to the far right of the hate stack. So we'll create the button now. The button has the action that will enable the navigation of the web link. Guard let URL equals to URL. Convert it to a string self.link. The link contains the destination address that we want the process to navigate to. UI application shared can open URL. So we try to open the URL. If the URL can't, cannot be open, then it just returns here. Else, it will hit line 46 and Attempt to open the URL. URL as URL. Image system name Chevron dot right. dot font dot system size fourteen weight semi bold design dot round dot rounded
And the purpose of Line 51 is to customise the front size and style of the chevron, giving it a rounded, semi bold appearance. So the next thing we need to do is to set the colour of the button to system grey. And we do that after line 52. System grey to now let's just compile it. Try not to find the content view. Oh, something's wrong with my content view. Let me delete the content view and add it again so that I can compile it. Try it again. It's compiled. So in next week's tutorial, we will implement the content view. So the content view will be using the form row link view. If you like the tutorial, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.